Hello Scott again with the Tourist Trap. I am back at the Magic Kingdom once again this week. Uh, today we're going to go and take a look at the Main Street Confectionery Shop, which is a very interesting shop to look at. One of my favorite spots here in the Magic Kingdom to go look at on my way out on Main Street is the Main Street Confectionery. Uh, they do make a lot of their own products in there and a lot of people do not know that the Main Street Confectionery is considered merchandise so you can get that discount in there as uh, cast members and as pass holders so let's go check out the main street confectionery here in uh, the window of the part of the emporium is a little wishes nighttime spectacular uh, display of a wishes hat it's one of those light up hats and i'm sure that's going to be a collectible item since wishes fireworks is going away very shortly as I make my way down to the Main Street Confectionery, there is the Art of Disney, which is the Main Street Cinema. Back when this park first opened, this was actually a cinema, and you could go in there and watch uh, Steamboat Willie uh, in the cartoon way back in the back. I remember doing that when this park first opened. Uh, it's no longer a cinema. It is a art store. And just standing right out here at the doorway, getting ready to walk into the Main Street Confectionery, you can smell that big whiff of cotton candy and they do have Louie here uh, with a cotton candy display and they have a little candy machine over here with uh, Huey and Dewey uh, Donald's nephews see his little name on there there's Huey and uh, over here's Dewey and Louie is over in the other window but they are making some cotton candy here the smell of the cotton candy coming out the door does make you want to go inside for sure and purchase some of that cotton candy and in this shop there is a big selection of items they do have the coffee mugs for purchase here in the Main Street confectionery not just all food as you can see they also have a big selection of the uh, Disney's Wonderland tea that can be purchased right here at the Main Street confectionery and they have those all-important honey spoons as well and Gosh, I want one of those little coffee cups right there. I might get one of those. That's from the Mad Hatter Tea Party, but it's a coffee cup. Aren't those cool? And right back here in the back, they have a full selection of pastry items that you can buy. They have the cupcakes, and they have the caramel apples, and cookies, and fudge, and uh, the list goes on and on. Here in the middle of the Main Street Confectionery, you can pick some M&Ms or some other various hard type candies in a bag, along with their ever popular pucker powders that uh, go inside of these big tubes. It looks like they have some orange related, uh, there's an orange Mickey head, see that Mickey head there? They have uh, an array of orange products for the kitchen. Uh, everything from tumblers to uh, a tea jar that you can brew your tea outside and a cutting board and uh, very colorful oh my goodness I have found Nemo here in the Main Street confectionery he's an apple he's right next to Dory here her little eyeballs are looking around over here at this uh, 45th anniversary apple and uh, there's Nemo right there but they do have a big selection of the apples. I like the one with the little Mickey uh, Mickey pants on it. It does look like they're getting ready to make some magic back here. I don't see anybody back here yet behind this counter. Uh, there's a lady on the other side over there uh, with some of their, you got the caramel apples and the Rice Krispies on a stick. And those are a big pile of M&M chocolate candies that they're probably gonna put on top of one of those caramel apples or Rice Krispie sticks. And they do have uh, Lion King suckers. Uh, that's new. And these animal crackers. What a better way to display animal crackers, but with the Lion King characters. And down here they have the candy rocks um, and some cotton candy. And right here is where you can get your cotton candy. And right back here in the front of the window she is making the cotton candy wrapping it up and bagging it into the bags for you to enjoy on your next trip here at magic kingdom always love watching them make the cotton candy and she is probably making that cotton candy for another land because uh, uh, they do make uh, 
the cotton candy here on Main Street for other lands. Um, we got ours when I worked in Tomorrowland over from Storybook Circus. Storybook Circus and uh, Main Street Confectionery are the only two locations that actually make the cotton candy. This shop always smells so incredible because they have so many things to look at, so many tasty treats, and uh, kitchen apparel, kitchen items, coffee mugs, and also the one thing that everybody likes is the Rice Krispie Treats. These are the gigantic Mickey Head Rice Krispie Treats that they make right back over here. Uh, some people, if you don't want to carry that big one around, you can get these little Rice Krispie balls and some of them do have chocolate on them already and those do sound pretty good as well. And as you first walk in the Main Street Confectionery, there is a big tower of suckers as you uh, enter the shop and it is a lot of suckers in a big spiral tower. They got single lollipops here that you can purchase from all different sizes and all different colors and they get bigger as they go up. I always like these little bubble tubes up here above the uh, sodas that you get here in the case. Uh, they always look pretty cool. Well, I do believe it is tempting me that I am going to get this one last purple teacup. There's the only, oh no, there's one more back there. I thought I was getting the last one, but there's be one left after I get done. It seems to be the one that everybody wants and nobody wants the other colors, but they all look pretty cool. But I definitely am going to purchase this here teacup. Well, this concludes my trip to the Main Street Confectionery here at the Magic Kingdom. And yes, I did walk away with a, a, a coffee mug, which is a replica of one of the teacups from the Mad Hatter Tea Party, which that was pretty cool. Uh, normally don't buy something. Uh, when I was a cast member, I barely bought anything, but when I did, it was usually at the cast store. But uh, couldn't resist that one. It was too cool to resist, so I did make a purchase of that that coffee mug, uh, which I did show you in the video. So um, going to go out there and continue my day, continuing to make it a great day today. And I hope you will go out there and remember to go make it a great day because you deserve it.